Hey. Hey. And we're live, finally, with uh, hmm, that good quality internet. Oopty fucking do. What happened? Oopty fucking do. Oh no, we died. No. I'll well, see you next no. week. <laughs> right. That's all for for today. Patreon bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stay like this. Eh? It's uh, it's somewhat viable, but uh. At least so for a part of today's content, our lovely Holly will be holy. literally holy. Yes. Oh. So, uh, how you guys doing, Chad? How you been? Uh, you missed us. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. Long time. No time. But do they love us? Long time. Long time. Maybe. Long slang. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, like we promised last week, um, <laughs> what, 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 yes, Halil is marked by the divine one, it's up until like, to up until like, you know, like 8 p.m. or whatever, <laughs> yeah, oh. oh, we're fine for, yeah, go, another go, go half an silent, hour. my dude, so yes, we see. should, we really should, so we're gonna do this live for everyone's entertainment, what the button on the fucking day, found it. We are so fucking professional, I love it. Oh, we're, we're, we're professional AF. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <look. laughs> All right. So um, we did mention this last time and try this last week. But as you know, about one in 10 of our frames reached you with a 10 minute delay. So it was really fucking awesome. So, but the, uh, the internet has fixed itself by magic and by our cables. No, it was just magic. Just magic then. Just magic. We don't know how it works. Is European works. magic. It's bliot, perf. I don't know. Anyway, but we were gonna talk to you in a lot more detail, and since we've played some more, so we actually know what we're talking about. About the newest uh, cyberpunk-themed pen and paper RPG, released by some of the nice people who worked on the earlier editions of Shadowrun, which is, you know, ancient and famous. And some of the people who worked on um, and a D6 Cyberpunk 2020. And the D6 Fast. Yeah, yeah. My they God. both are, by the way. They both are. Both are. And uh, some of the people who worked on the nice uh, Cyberpunk 2020. So, you know, a nice phoenix rising out of the ashes of the 80s and 90s. Still, uh, it's on the D20 system. It is, it is, yep. like D&D. It's, it's so streamlined, it's so easy to understand, it's perfect. It's really fucking fun, to be honest. Yep. Uh, I'll be fair about it. The uh, the first PDF, which is the you know player's guidelines and the starting book, is, uh, is a bit on the light side with some aspects, like weapon mods and the more advanced stuff. Well, but I really you, think you these you will be... You still have... A good variety of weapons you okay we weapon mod you still you have only four of them uh five five uh four? five four five whatever i think um, it's between like four and six i'm not sure i, I go for six whatever I remember correctly. a reasonable oh, number of a reasonable number of, of mods uh, of mods but uh i mean these by how the game presents itself and how the developers have been so far will be fixed and patched and added to really nicely in the following yeah, weeks maybe they months. want maybe they want to avoid the twin the shadow run experience yeah, yeah with one edition every two years and about hundreds of mods and weapons yeah well yeah i mean to be honest i i i'm uh, half of me is kind of itching for for a lot of, of variety well, but, yeah. but with time so that all the player base can learn the system and be familiar with it so that you don't have 30 books at once and they throw you for a complete fucking loop but i think they're gonna release three books for from the start that's what they did say and then they'd say they keep uh, adding to them slowly slowly over yeah. the following years but still, yeah. at least the more streamlined content not uh, search for everything in <laughs> obscure books yeah, that that too, and the uh, the PDF itself, uh, the PDF itself is is really really easy to understand and to read and to get through, and Ho it's pretty good. Hopefully, you'll you'll not need a separate uh, third party program just to create oh your God, character. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, there was that. Uh, what was it? Chummer. 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 Which what? is also the name for an asshole in uh, Cyberpunk. Not in Cyberpunk. In uh, Shadowrun. Yeah. Yeah. Still, right. Chummer so, uh, will be even for five B. So uh, Chummers, Samurais. Cyberpunks, 
Let's uh Wake up, you have a city to burn. Ooh. Right. <laughs> what, we're not cool enough for you? Fuck you. <laughs> you have morals and shit? Oh, uh, dubious question. I will refrain from answering that. Ha! <laughs> he refrains. <laughs> Where are your square balls? Right. right. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, before we get properly <laughs> started, right, uh, last time we did attempt to, to talk about a bit uh, about the copious amounts of square balls in other uh, cyberpunk-themed RPG systems, right? A bit. Well, we yeah. tried to. We didn't even manage to say a few words. That's none of our fault, man. It's not our fault. We tried. It's not our fault. We gave it our best. But the internet didn't. So here we are. Yep. <laughs> but uh so i don't know should we start uh, off the bat with the system and the rules and explain think, everything nicely again? i think we should do everything again to be honest okay yeah the setting the explaining a bit yep because yep. we didn't even up upload that bit on youtube we have nothing on it so yeah? better better oh, start so it over again so we uh we so we marked it down as uh, yeah. as a failed attempt and that's it yeah and <laughs> we can deliver the crisp experience the live sound quality mm -hmm. Ooh, almost almost okay so um right before we we get into detail oh my god that, mm. that's so sad what we have two viewers. No. I'm one of them. No. We got like four. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. We do this for them, uh, for us, not for them. For um, hi. Hi. Hello. So, uh, how does this work, Patreon? <laughs> <coughs> so. I think everyone, their grandma knows it by now, but cyberpunk is uh, cool and cringy at the same time. Starting with the uh, forgotten eons of Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic. And, uh, oh my God. and forgotten tomes, such as Neuromancer and Mona Lisa Overdrive. And the first one uh, in the early 80s called Snow Crash. Cyberpunk has been a thing with us as long as wide CRT monitors have bled into our consciousness. And that's exactly the level of autistic revelry that this book really exists in the middle of. Because it's, it's also set in the coolest possible time period of cyberpunk where nanotechnology coexists with like big industrial machines. No, it's the start yeah. of it. It's the start of it. It's the Deus Ex Human Revolution of cyberpunk. I see it it's as kind of a, a bit of Rust Punk. A bit. A very bit on the lower levels of yeah, society yeah, yeah. where, you know, shit runs on the street. Man, that's a pretty cool punk. Yeah, yeah. It's a, um, it's a septic punk. Septic punk. A septic tank. Top of the morning, tail of this. My name is Augmentations. Cheap Augmentations. Cheap Augmentations, yeah. I mean, Cheap. are they? And hard with commercials on it. I mean, yeah, it's a free augmentation to get, you know, commercials wired into your fucking brain. I mean, that's just the neural link. And it's so cheap, it's free. No, the game the game says... No, 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 it says yeah. it's free, but there's like 50 caveats to that free. Hey, look, no fucking wallet, no fucking wallet. <laughs> right. But before we delve all of that uh, into that... We should really explain the, the time frame, the world, again, and get everyone up to speed. So, <clears throat> the world of Carbon 2185. It's like, it's like so similar to 2019, but imagine more tech, right? Everything's fucked up. Yeah. Everything got fucked up. And uh, the fuck ups begin in uh, 2019, by the way. Well, start in 2019 and work their way up to ludicrous levels and wormholes and uh, people born in space but here's where things start right here's for where, where things diverge from our own world for example in carbon 2185 i don't think elon was that successful like at all 
Because there's no mention of this revolutionary genius. Funny that. So, our dot-com bubble and everything that happened up until 2019 in Cyberpunk is a semicolon. But... I mean, not only that. It just gets Go worse ahead. progressively. Yeah. It's so well, progressive. Anyway, it's so <laughs> fucking progressive. Everything starts in 2019, as I said, with a, a period between 2019 and 2030, which is a total fucking climate collapse. We done goofed. I mean, so it's happening. Yeah, it no. is. It is. If we, if we're looking at the world today. Yeah, it's happening. It's, it's we're there. So keep doing like this. We're gonna have the cyberpunks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So the Earth's climate degrades continuously. Mm -hmm. uh, summers get uh, between uh, you know, a hundred and twenty degrees uh, Fahrenheit and more. Winters get scarcer and scarcer. We don't really know what the Fahrenheit is, but... Hey, that's what the book says, man. Okay. Apps. It does uh, Celsius <laughs> is for, for those of us who are not under fucking colonial rule. <laughs> it's not Fahrenheit, it's guns per square football field. <laughs> exactly. I mean... For baseball field, man. Baseball field. Yeah. Soccer. Soccer. Suck, suck my soccer. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then, of course, there come the floodings. Um, sea rises by the several inches a year. Hmm? The A pack of leaps, then the two pack of leaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, packaged nicely with all of this, all of the world's markets crash. Another economic crisis, basically. Because, you know, f the planet failing, the economy is failing. Now, really, compared to what we've got in modern society, this one's described as the only true economic crisis. Well, to be honest, it's amazing to be though. honest, right now it's predicted we are going straight into another economic crisis. So pretty much on the so, track. So, uh, yeah. These fine countries so backwards, we never exited. <laughs> we, are we are in a constant economic it's not crisis. It's just day to day living. It's day to day living now, from 2008 uh, until now. For uh, for those of you expensive outlander folk, patron, <laughs> patron, yeah. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. Is there a problem? I hope not, but for a second there we appeared to be frozen. It's fine. No, we're, we're good. We we're are good. green. Just worried. <laughs> um, Come on. Last eat. week's repercussions are still hitting me. Yeah, but if the pandas were okay. Yeah, good point. Right. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who missed it, by the way, yesterday's crash pandas was uh, mm -hmm. oddly relaxing. And we're gonna upload that to YouTube uh, today yeah. in the evening yeah. or tomorrow in the morning. Depends on the upload, the the upload, upload rate. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so getting back to it, right? Uh, 2019 to 2030 is the total climate collapse followed by all of the world's fiat uh, money going bye-bye. Because yeah. all, all of the resources are going bye-bye. So, hey, what's, uh, what's physical money? So, by the way, for those of you progressive folks who laughed at us, um, French uh, societies and uh, 207. Fuck you. We were right. Bitcoin is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. And of it's course, glorious. because Bitcoin is a thing, we go mm, until 2082 in uh, discovering space. Yep. And forming yep. colonies. So, so from uh, 2031 to 2082, we find and found space colonies on the moon, uh, another French one on Mars, and another French one. The in fuck off wormhole territory. Where was it? On the other side of a wormhole called Z2. Mm, yep. But why, why the Z though? I never found it throughout the PDF. It has like three edges. So it's, it's just fucking cool? Yeah, it's cool. Alright. I betcha it's just because it's cool. You have a fair point. And uh, right. So we, fi we find and found space colonies. And uh, here comes the first transhuman experience of, uh, of this game. You can be space people. Now, space people are just like people. And we're gonna get into detail a bit uh, later. But uh, yeah. what you have to remember is long. space people are long and have bird-like bones. 
Hello, fellow humans. You, yeah. really like, you really like doing that. Yeah, I love it. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we become a space a spacefaring race fucking finally, but we're still poor. We're so poor that we search for oils on other planets. It's happened. Yeah. But at the same time... For oils? Oils. Ah, okay. Oils? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. So, humanity scrambles for the stars in the search of the greatest blowjob. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, man. If, if anything w would motivate the human race, it's blowjobs. Um, excuse me, sir. Where can I get some of this, um, uh, dick sack? On the moon. Pew! Earth's full. Okay! Pooey! Yeah. Also, we have a space elevator to the moon now, right? Or to, uh, uh, or to a station really close to, to a the moon? station. To a it's kind of physically station, impossible yeah. to the moon. I don't know, man. The, uh, the game describes it so vaguely the distance between that station, Earth, and the moon. No, so probably weird. is like close Fringe to the moon. Pro probably it's like uh, the International Space Station. Yeah, I think it's a bit, a bit more, like a bit more. No, because I, I mean I, we're cyberpunk, you know. I mean, uh, beyond that, it wouldn't be. But I don't think it'll be technologically feasible, no matter what kind of technology you have. You know what? Because you still need the orbit. I know, but I'm gonna give it a bit of leeway since it's so. Uh, yeah, cool. but connecting it to the moon, it's physically impossible. Oh, that I know. Yeah. That I know. But I mean, the orbit would would probably be closer than. Yeah, it's stations. probably a space elevator to the orbit because uh, that's what the main fuel consumption is at yeah. rockets. Because right now, uh, for example, we also have uh, in uh, in space orbital dry docks. And uh, oh, by the way, there's also colonies on Jupiter's moons. Mm, yeah. Huh? What do you know? Just read about it. And um, the classical Titan. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So uh, Destiny was right too. Fuck you guys. Time for the Traveler to appear. Well, the Traveler did appear in Destiny like later than 21 something something. Time for the Traveler to fucking hurry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've got the spacesuits and we do not have the patience. And because we ju we we found the uh, dungeons and destiny. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, right, I think we're gonna keep it for next week. Yeah, we're gonna keep it for the next. So week. we also found um, a really cool homebrew document. It's really big, with uh, rules in the D and D systems on how to play Destiny at your table. What? They're perfect. Yeah, they, they, they work. And they, they go so in. You depth. have uh, about 15 fucking loot tables on how to get exotics. You would love it. You will love it. Yeah, yeah. It's as good as you think. Okay. Mm hmm. Anyway. Yo. So. <laughs> that ASMR. Thank you, thank you. I so discuss after, myself every morning. After so, we yeah. con colonize the moons yeah. and the planets, the well, corporation says, fuck you. Actually, it's more like, uh, well, now that we have an influx of new resources, it's time for the best part of humanity sh to show itself. Huh? Vulture capitalism. Oh, not even, man. It first starts with an almost synchronicity level event of the assassination of all world big presidents. Well, but uh, as far as... Uh, well, at first it's the... The EU president? Uh, no, yeah. it's the uh, EU yeah, president. Yeah, the EU president. Yeah. EU yeah. And on, then followed on, on, very on, closely yeah. by the USA president. On May 2nd is the EU and on May 7th is the USA. Yep. Yeah. Now we can presumably say because uh, it doesn't state it that all of the other pres presidents gave up. I mean, the two most powerful men of state just got, you know, axed. It's time to retire. Yep. The space elevator usually means like a catapult for a ship which will consume way less fuel. Uh, it's more like a catapult towards building materials or people to yeah. send it into orbit to a station. It, the main thing is to stop building ships on Earth yeah. and to start building them straight into orbit so they can escape Earth's gravity well easier. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. By the way, this, this reminds me of like the, the greatest, I think we'll talk about it one day, the greatest ever uh, sabotage in EVE Online. I told you guys oh, about yeah. it. Oh god. That, that. The guys who built like two fake uh, space dry docks yeah. and defended the empty one for a full month. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, fucking love that one. Anyway, so yeah, this is when the mega corporations really take power. Yeah, because there's no one else left. I mean, the government's fault. It, it's not. It's not like it's their fault. The governments can't uh, take care of their own business and clean up their own house. So they generously come here and provide stability. <laughs> hey, do you have the money? We do. Woohoo! Oh, we crippling debt. <laughs> that comes later. It's kind of at the same time. No, 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 no. They bail out the governments, so the governments are no longer have crippling debt. Actually, they buy out the governments. It's called a bailout, not no, a no, buyout. No, it says they buy out the governments. It's in the name. Yep, they buy it out. They they literally buy out the governments. As far as I know, you can't buy out a government. You can bail out a government. Yeah, you're still thinking reality. Yeah. That's where you're so you wrong. You know when you can purchase a country? Well, technically speaking, you can. So? There you go. There you go. Hey, Obama. Trillion dollars, you're mine now. <laughs> I think it's uh, 20 trillion now. Whatever. The debt. Just, just. We're not gonna talk how China owns a lot of bail bonds out of the US, it's fine. <laughs> or how Japan is the second largest. Hi. Anyway, but, right, this is, you know, kind of a period of stabilization and the corporations finally getting control and regulating everything after, you know, massive riots in the streets. It says it right here. Yeah. But then we come to the best age. The debt age. The they debt work your age. whole life for a bread age. Uh, the modern the, age. The modern age and the escape from reality, basically. Yep, pretty much. Not so, for the breads. Oh no 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 no. For an energy drink. <laughs> for an energy drink, because that's one of the rewards. Yeah. From like, one your, of our players almost got that. Remember. You retire yeah, from 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 a corporation, and your parting gift is an energy drink. Yeah, it's fucking lovely. But yeah, this one is the age where uh, the players actually play. And by the way, haha, VR is a thing also. Yeah, but it's so V and R. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sex cafes and shit. Anyway, <laughs> sex cafes. Yeah, and 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 this is the actually interesting age, where um the players coexist, where uh, there's this sort of stalemate. But uneasiness throughout the status quo. Because things have been stagnating for a while, even though technology kept evolving. I mean, social this, standing and social structure are, are very uh, on the nose. So social structures usually are weird, mostly in their evolution. But they did change a bit. I mean They did change a bit with the emergence in the modern age of the AIs and yeah. synths. Uh, AIs finally became uh, self-aware, so real AIs, not VIs, like we have right now. They became uh, virtual people, and finally, they got machine bodies for themselves. Yeah, synthetic humans. The Mass Effect is close, indeed. Mass Effect is close. No, not that. Uh, not those AIs for Mass Effect. Uh, by the way, uh, actual AIs from um, cyberpunk novels. Again, like Neuromancer, like um, Mona Lisa Overdrive, even like the early days of Dune before their, uh, what, uh, what was it, the Butlerian Jihad? Mm -hmm. To answer a question. Right, so this is the setting, this is the history, this is the gritty world where Keanu Reeves is God. <laughs> What, am I wrong? Well, I, I think the, mm -hmm. the the world where Keanu Reeves is gone is gonna appear in about half a year. Yeah. It's gonna be the same one. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the same one. Yeah, but they're gonna do a, sp a separate one. Right. Well, yeah. yeah, indeed, it is now the reemergence of the glorious age of cyberpunk. Because this is not the only game on the horizon. There's two more. There's a new edition of the... Two more? Yeah. Of the old cyberpunk, which is going to be called Cyberpunk Red, which is released in conjunction with um, 2077, with 2077, and uh, with the help of CDPR. Yep. And there's also the sixth edition of of uh, Shadowrun. My God. They're making another one. Yes. Woo! Can 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 you make it more co complicated? I love it. You fucking betcha. Yep. And we oh might boy. just play it. 
just yeah, to see how, we, how many we dice can we try. can roll on the same table. Well, last, yeah. la, last time shooting my my sniper, I rolled it was like about 14 dice. 14 dice. 14 dice. A uh, spell was like 12. Yeah. It's amazing. 12 to 14. Well, everything you people were good at was 12 to 14. It's amazing. And somehow people still fail at that. Statistics, man. Statistics. Yep, statistic, man. Anyway. But hey, Crash Pandas is a D6 fest too, but on a smaller scale because we're smaller there. Well, it's 4 D6 is the best. It's a very small. Let's see. No, 6, six D6 six D6 is, six is, is the best. Yeah. Best. yeah. Which That's is still okay. So, by that rule, Crash Pandas are average characters in Shadowrun. Let's fucking go, my dude. Crash Pandas in the Shadowrun uni universe. Yep. Yep, sure. I fucking love that. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, now that we got through the really simplistic, actually, world lore, it's just, you know, our reality, but way more fucked up and with cooler USB sticks. Yeah. We our reality plus plus. <laughs> we can finally talk about Cyberpunk and you. What is you in Cyberpunk? What puts the you in Carbon? Sorry. Augmentation. All right, it has a you. Yeah. Right. So beyond what you can do, which ah. is a fucking lot, ah. let's find out how you go about creating a character. Yep. Now, it's sort of like D&D. It's really easy to play because it's based on the D20 system and everything you do is explained nicely to you. That's great. But, but character creation has a few extra steps, right? Yep. I mean, sure, it all starts like in, like in our friendly D&D &D games where you gotta determine your ability scores, but this one you don't roll with 4d6s drop lowest six times. You roll with a 2d6s and a 5. Add 5. Yeah. Add 5, yep. For so each stat. So basically your stat is 5 and you add 2 to the whatever. Yeah, whatever. Basically so your minimum stat can be a 7. Yeah. Yep. And your maximum stat can be a 17. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know what, it's balanced. It kind of generates almost the same numbers as 4d6 drop. Kind slightly of. Slightly lower. Slightly lower, uh, slightly lower because of the cap. Yep. Lower. Just because of the cap. But the averages are still there. They're the kind of the same numbers. And you know what, uh, we're going to get to it later, but, but Cyberpunk, uh, I mean, Carbon is slightly grittier. You don't have the same uh, 20 level cap. You have 10 level cap. Everything's supposed to be a bit harder to get and to find and to keep. So I understand the slightly lower numbers is just to beat things into the into the box. Which is good, you know what? Feel the low levels. Yeah. Because they're the most fun. Because you can get ludicrously strong even in this game, right? You can Augmentation get is my guy. Not even with augmentation, your base class abilities are, are kind of fucking strong I at mean, yeah. later levels. But we're gonna get to those in like a bit later. <laughs> we're gonna tell you stories about our game. Yeah, that too. Well, our game has only had like what one session? Two? One? Two? No, one. No, one session. One proper session. We did do some things, not a lot of ludicrous things, but we did do some things. We was mostly role play, and we got nicely introduced into the setting. We we uh, we kind of got a feel of uh, of how things work yep. a bit. So we can tell them about the RP. Sure. Why not? But that's going to be a bit later. So first, right, there's the ability scores. Or if you don't like to roll, you can take, you know, a score oh array of a 16, a 14, a 13, a 12, a 10, and a 9, which is kind of shit. So please roll. Rolling generates way more interesting numbers. I'm going to say statistically higher, but, you know, statistics is an average. Interesting numbers nonetheless. You know? Because, I mean, come on, who wants to, who wants to build presets? Honestly, no. Sure that. But we're heavily no. biased on that. So uh, don't listen to us, we're the experts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Step number two. Now that you got your numbers and you know how much of something you can be, let's be something. So yeah. you can choose your origin, which is from a handy little list of uh, a couple of origins, which include, you know, people who listen to alternative music, people who work. <laughs> People who work a lot from childhood. People. 
were irradiated and not long people. people and then non people and just oh uh. yeah the non people are just uh. <laughs> yep we're gonna run through the list anyway step number three now that you are a perfect little snowflake mm, mm -hmm. existing into the great realistic future let's fuck you up generate a vice now there's a list of a hundred vices a hundred vices which range from you know you really need to smoke 40 cigarettes a day or you fucking lose it or uh, to um hating you children leave. you hate children you never wanted this you played you played dark and dungeons yeah <laughs> Or uh, you have bonsai trees, or, or uh, origami animals, or you yeah. leave origami animals yeah, where you go. Yeah, yeah. By the it way, goes. that means, but in my head canon, that means David Cage is a big thing in the future. Of course, yeah. David Cage games surprised everyone when they were rediscovered. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so there's a list of vices. Uh, you either select a couple of vices, work with your DM, or you can roll for your vices, which I really would not recommend if it's your first playthrough. Or just select three of them. Yeah. Well, it's a uh, it's, it's uh, between one, one and, and three. three, or one and how many you ever want. I mean, the fucking, you either go for it or you go for it or you go for it. Yeah, all of them. Oh my God, that would be amazing. No, you'd be a living contradiction. I don't give a well, shit. You are you are a living contradiction. You just exist in this in that universe. No, wait a minute. Wait, uh, you know what? I need to make this parenthesis. I would select all of them, and play a synth with memory issues. Yeah. Done. Yep. Sure. I'd be alive for like a day and a half. Who cares? Shine brightly, my friend. <laughs> this is gonna get its own story sometime. Yeah. And we're gonna find out how the hand got here. By the way, we just woke up with the hand one day. Yeah. It's been here all along. All of the, like two months. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyway, so you're nicely flawed and fucked up now. Good. You can be in this world. No, now that you can be in this world. Let's be in this world. No, 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 what was it? What was it? What was it? What now, was it? The uh, class? Finally the class? No. No. Now. It's time for you to work. Actually, uh, now it's time for you to apply your ability scores. Yeah, but that's kind of like given once you select them and you get your things from the class, you put them together. Yeah, I think. Fair fair yeah. Enough. Right. So. Then uh. Well. And then yeah, it's time for you to fucking work. Please explain this one because it it kind of. So uh, in Carbon, there's a number of jobs you can do from a list. Each job in itself is a contract. Every contract has a five-year tenure. And uh, depending on the difficulty of the contract, you have to roll uh, 2d6, if I remember, plus half your intelligence modifier. Round it up. Round it up. And uh, each job you ha take uh, has job its... Job type. Job type. You can have several. Yep. Yeah. Each uh, job type has its own difficulty. Uh, you can... <laughs> You can do as many rounds with the in that job type as well. You're alive, cause uh, age is important here. No, yeah, yeah, you can die of old age. Yeah, finally. I'm, yeah, not only could you die of old age, but depending on how old you are, just like in D and D, mm. uh, you get a uh, specific ups and downs. Oh yeah. Uh, we got those right, cause we're both middle aged. Yeah, we're forty year old. Uh, Dudes, dudes, we're gonna get, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna that. get, yeah, we're gonna we're, talk about that. We will break. get how you guys. <laughs> so yeah, um, then you start for every five years. You get paid at the end of your contract, mm -hmm. and payment is a benefit in this world. Oh yeah. So uh, if you get injured, that is quite literally the time when your contract ends and your cyberpunk life begins. Yeah, you know, hot shit. Yeah. So, uh, for every time you succeed at that specific contract, mm. uh, you get the you get to roll a number of d4s that determine the sum of money you get. Yep, yep. It's uh, I think between uh, two d4s and three. That's a lot. It's a lot. And three d4s. Some have like four d4s. I don't know. The sums vary like really a lot. Depending on the, the job. Because the jobs are very varied. Yeah. We're gonna get to that. So after that. Uh, there's another caveat to jobs. 
uh, if you do enough uh, tours, enough contracts, enough go arounds basically. Yes, enough go arounds of five years each mm-hmm. uh, on the same job. And the minimum is four. Yeah, yeah the minimum, minimum is four. four. So twenty years of the same job, you also get retirement. Yep. Uh, retirement benefits. Yep. Which uh, okay. Uh, beyond this, the job uh, for every new contract, you get a skill affiliated with the job. But you can select from a pool. Yes, uh, every of available tour, skills. You can select from a from a pool of skills, um, languages, languages, or, or uh, tool proficiency. Tool proficiency. So uh, the skills are there's a pool of skills. You select one, and then you get to choose either a tool proficiency Actually, it's or not a language. For all jobs, by the way. It's not for all jobs. Well, uh, some jobs they stated in the job. Yeah, because uh, some jobs give you more skills. Some jobs give, give you, you more, more tool proficiency. Yeah. Yep. or yep. languages. But anyway, it's it's a nice varied package so that uh, you know, like you have two characters which are the same class, but they can feel totally different. And yeah. we have that example in our son- in our Saturday game. Yeah, and it's really cool. We have the successful medic and the oh medic. god, your poor sap. And the me- me- medic. No, 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 and the he di- he didn't ask for this. Oh yeah. Yeah, the edict. <laughs> The edict. the edict. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, right. So that's how you work, and um, that gives you your starting money, which counts for a lot in this world. Yeah. Uh, also, should you fail from the first turn, <laughs> you're fucking dirt poor. Yep. You're dirt poor. You get a weapon that is less than uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand of the currency. Which is basically a fucking knife or some shit. And it's a, a poor clothes. weapon. And poor clothes. Yeah. So you can reasonably buy a wrench and underwear if that's it. Basically. And you can become a psycho. N- no, you can be a, what was it, common rider? Common rider? Yeah, from that oh. anime. The guy with the underwear on his, on his head oh that God. fought people. Oh God. <gasps> no, no, you no. Can be that guy. no, no, just go uh, that, that PC game with a banana. Where, uh, where you fight death? No, uh, my friend Pedro. My ch- just go, oh. my yeah, friend yeah, Pedro. Yeah, you can be the guy from my friend Pedro. And at have the beginning, fun. because he only has the crowbar. Yeah, and have fun. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. So yeah, you can you can vary wildly from um. <laughs> what? <laughs> I checked back into the chat. What? And really? an average chat with lower than average viewers. Viewers plus one modifier. Thanks, man. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The stream are just playing with their phone. <laughs> what? What's the advantage of knowing more than a language? Well, uh, they're the languages spoken in real life, right? Uh, adjusted for how um, population much numbers. Yeah, of of how well people will know them in the future. For example, uh, the first one is obviously English. The second one is uh, Chinese Mandarin or something. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, Mandarin. Yeah, whatever. The uh, so common Chinese can search for them. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, yeah, uh, we have them in the PDF. Uh, it's kind of a low ball, high ball interpretation of how uh, spread out languages would be in the future where countries are concept. So yeah, uh, Mandarin. Mm-hmm. The next one would be Spanish. All right. So and it's, you it, know, it, it's a reasonable approximation of how languages would spread in the future. And knowing more than one language helps you a lot in social situations, in crisis situations, in a lot of situations, really, yeah. to be honest. So it's a real big advantage to know more than one language here. Yeah, less chance that people can talk secretly. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, you've got your, your skills from your job, your money from your job, everything that your job can provide, including parting gifts from some jobs. Yep. Like uh, from the bartender <laughs> job from the entertainer, you can get money or money or an expensive drink or a common plant, which is really cool. Yeah. Or fancy clothing. Fancy clothing. Which is 25,000 though. Oh God. Yeah. A common implant then. The common implant is ludicrous. It's like 100,000 to get if you buy it. Yep. And it's yes, not go that, for it. It's not that useful. It's, it's, it's very it's, useful. It's so useful. It's useful when everyone in the squad has some form of comms. Well, you if know. not, you're talking to yourself, buddy. Or, you know, you can search for the other frequencies or maybe hear on someone. Uh, that no. has its own difficulty checks. If you're a checks. hacker. If you're a hacker, something. it's important. If you're not a hacker, it's nice when everyone's got them. Yeah. Yes. It's really cool then. Well, we should aim for that. Yeah, we really should, but well, we're going to talk about it. Right, then you finally get to choose your class, and that's some pretty cool interpretations. 
Luckily, uh, most of them are pretty close to D&D counterparts. Yeah. And they're easy to understand, and the skills have been translated pretty nicely. I and guess. adapted and yeah. flavored quite okay. We can go through the classes? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Because yeah. I want to talk about each of them in detail and shit, uh, but first, like, present the overview. Present everything, then we'll go, like, through mm. origins, then classes. Then yep. Right, then you finally get to calculate your numbers, like your skills and saving throws and everything. Because you finally got them all. Yeah. No, practical d, &D. Yeah, yeah. And then you finally uh, get to buy shit. Because uh, you got all that money or not from your job. So now it's finally time to deck yourself out. I mean fucking deck yourself out. I mean fucking deck yourself out. Just buy everything you find. <laughs> Man, it's it's so useful to, to, to get your own custom kit going. Yep. Because even in Dindy, there's a bit of restriction on that, right? But here, most of the I things you... Is there a bit of restriction? I mean, uh, of course, here there's... Here, you're shown all of the gear. Well, even in D&D, you can buy any weapon you want to. Yeah, but then again, uh, there's the fact that... Like, I mean, like, Holy Avengers and shit like that, you know? Well, here, you can buy the top fucking range. If you got the money for it, somehow... Yeah, somehow. You but can fucking it's go. such a l low Still, chance. The freedom that gives you with the build, because you can buy complex items off the bat. You know, well, it's pluses and minuses because okay, you can buy the like strongest we weapon in the game, but then you're gonna be without pants in the middle of the city. Hello, hi, how you doing? I have. Are you some feeling sort okay? Of pants. Uh, you, you, you. Mm. 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 Tactical job. Yeah. <laughs> I like my Kevlar on my skin. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, we're, oh, oh, we're oh, gonna oh, get into oh. that. Right. So you bought your shit. Finally. Woo. E. Okay. Now for the hard part. Choose a name. Yep. <laughs> it's bad. It's horrible. You no, know, it's perfect. Just go as cringy as you want because this is the future and it's cyber. Names are a concept, man. <laughs> Names are social restrictions, and I don't think Knowledge we should abide. Knowledge is opinion. Them. Opinions are a social construct, man. Can you please pass me the water? Yeah, sure. What do you so, want the juice here? No, no, water is fine. I tried. I tried so hard. <laughs> Success. Right. Okay. What so. Did what? What they Oh, they're uh, they're chatting with us about the languages. Big bit so far. Right. So that's a quick flyby of you know the origins, the jobs, the stats, the classes, the equipment. Some of the equipment. Yeah, this much of the equipment. Then Yeah, that much. Then let's get into details. So yeah. You got a nice list of origins. So we're yep. starting with the origins? Yeah. And we start with the uh, nice little uh, irradiated guy. The Mad Max of the future. The land of the bad, the bad land. The bad lander. Yeah. Where you go, heavy metal music plays. But like, really distorted, because you're irradiated. Your hearing's not so good. But let's see what... Uh, As an orange here. dust storm obscures the view of Thank the you. dunes of the California desert. High on a ridge, a group of figures battle near what appears to be a downed vehicle. The Badlander hails from the outskirts of the civilization. In <laughs> right. So yeah, oh, yeah basically... Um, basically, uh, Badlanders live... Uh... I'll be right back. You guys keep explaining. Okay. Oh, it's pretty cool. No, no, it's cool. Stay here. Okay, fine. Uh, we know it's a co-working space. It's fine. They do. They do. I'll find that out during somehow. the break. So, uh, yeah, here in Wacky Land. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep going. Okay. Uh, so basically, the Badlander lives outside of the walls of the mega cities. <laughs> and in the Badlands. <laughs> 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 right. What system is Wasteland using? Not D and D. Uh, was inspired. No, the Wasteland uh, games actually use the GURPS system, which uh, inspired 
uh, Fallout. So Wasteland is older than the Fallout games and the concept was on chat. Okay. Please go on. Sure. Right. So uh, basically, in the Badlands, the economy surprisingly isn't on hard currency. No, it's, it's not. Uh, it's energy not. cells. It's on power cells. Yep. So uh, the thing that pa- that gives everything well electricity and also is what ruins the Badlands environment. It makes uh, everything radioactive. Environment. Hey, hey, the hey, city hey, hey, radioactive matter. savanna is still an environment. It is radioactive, but it's an environment. It just has I'll a glow. This, I'll take this quick second to note down. Imagine Dragons was also right. Oh, God. <laughs> I want to go. I'm sad now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah. They have a specific uh, economy. Uh, other than that, they actually live less than normal. Wow! Like being irradiated somehow lengthens your life. Well, it Brothers, can. That's the power source for all of the Marvel universe, motherfucker. Yeah, you either like lived uh, lived uh, until you're fifty, or just fucking go. It's either fifty or immortal. Yeah. Thankfully, in this world. About 70 or 80. It's just 50. No, and this one, no, the Badlander uh, lives between uh, 70 or 80. And come on, look, uh, they, they they have the radiation gave them night vision. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty good. You 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 got cancer, but you can see better in the darkness. Uh, yeah. Uh, and they are twitchy. Yeah. <sighs> they are always ready. Also, yeah. there's two types of Badlanders. Yeah, you have the bruiser and the scavenger, so you either search for shit or beat other shit. Oh yeah. my god, the bruiser is so fucking powerful, I save right now. Plus two to strength? Dude, no. One scary Not dude. Not 1d6 plus strength on your fucking fists at level one, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, just go and punch but That's kind of like an axe. Dude, that's amazing. You have a melee weapon incorporated. You are a melee weapon. Or you can be the scavenger, which yeah. increases your technology skill by two. You gain the mechanic skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you are even more mm-hmm. irradiated. No, 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 no. Uh, so you have so ra- fucking irradiated. That you have resistance to radiation. <laughs> That's yeah. how it works. Yep. Next. Next hmm. one, it's, um, you know, the edge. Oh yeah, all yeah. Of yeah. Mm, mm. one half of the edge flavor because I believe we could both speak for the edge in this game. Okay. We're oh yeah. Both a type of edge. Yeah. So. They, so. they are they are uh, specifically diametrically opposed Edges. sides of the razor. But so these but are. we love each other. So yeah, these are the gutter punks. Yep. Now now now. A Yungo. <laughs> Here's how this works. Play a tab with Sex Pistols. <laughs> now open a tab on YouTube and put some low desert punk. Open a tab on YouTube and put, um, you know, Stoner Rock, but at X2 speed. And then, the final one, just glitchy noises. That's what you are. Yep, you are glitchy noises and that's it. Come yeah. on. Uh, you're glitchy ro- noises and punk rock. A group of aimless youth clad in painted leather jackets and faces full of metal piercing seats drinking alcohol illuminated by the glow of neon. <laughs> I have only one argument to add to this, by the way. By the way. Heckling anybody who happens Hello, to Hello, fellow by. teenagers! <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> right? All right? All right? That's that's kind of it for their description. I mean, yeah, uh, you, do, you do get some... Oh, okay, okay, come on. Nice you, you are part of an anti-social movement that rejects mainstream society and attempts to emulate their vision. <laughs> so you are punk hipsters. I fucking love it. You are punk hipsters. And basically, they're gangbangers. Mostly no, live no, no, in no, the no. slums or abandoned Gangs buildings. Gangs and violence sure are part of their lifestyle, but... But dude, 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 you don't fucking get it, do you? Don't fucking get it. You just act like the man. Do you fucking get it? We're not just gangs and, and, and fucking... No, no, okay? <laughs> Fuck your system. Eh? There you go. Sex pistols. Yeah, basically. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, they live have longer some... than the irradiated brats. Of course. <laughs> they live up to 100. Uh, which is kind of your average. And, and show, they are faster way. from the cocaine. They are. They literally... Uh, they're, uh, I believe, one of the two fast ones or the only fast ones. And of course, they have pro- pro- proficiency with shotguns because they yep. just cool. Yeah, well, yeah. And you get um, one the extra skill of your choice. Yeah, and not only that, but you you've basically had a misspent youth. 
So yep. you get you get influence. You get street cred. You get the you're in a gang. Yeah, you get street cred from your gangbanger days. And you know, to other languages, you're a pretty literate yep. little shit. Yep. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And after that, then I believe the it's your turn. Yeah, it's the first type of edge what I'm playing. It's a corporate kid. Rows oh of God. children dressed neatly in identical clothing and matching hairstyles sit in a bright warehouse assembling mechanical components. This is not a factory, however, but a for-profit orphanage. Ding. Yeah. Go ahead. So these are kids uh, are brought by cor- corporations. Uh, usually they are orphans and let's say kind of brainwashed. Uh, I mean, it's not brainwashing. It's uh, they give you education and perspective over and the And a corporate world. identity because you don't have a name. You have a serial number. That is your name. You can have a nickname, though. That's just what everyone else calls you. Yep, but your name is... Uh, you, you know, like... Uh, well, uh... Thompson's Tom. Yeah. Richard's, uh... Pardon the word. Dick. Dick. Yep. You, you, usually your name is made from the initials of the corporation, your date of birth, and the serial number of your lot. Mm, yeah. Still, they go pretty okay in this. They have uh, technology and intelligence. Mm-hmm. Well, of course. They live to 110, even more. Yes. Again, they know three languages as the gutter punk, so still a little shit. <laughs> Not necessarily the best, the best little shit, but no, you can be the best little shit or the worst little shit, because the subclasses are a high flyer or a slicker. So as a high flyer, you your uh, corporation invested in you and gave you an augmentation of tier one, which is pretty big. It's about a hundred and something thousand. It's about a hundred and seventy. Wall between a hundred thousand and a hundred and seventy thousand. Yeah. One yeah. longs. Wallalos. Wallalos. Yeah. Okay, fine. But if Have you it your way. Yeah, but, but if you want to be a slicker, uh, <laughs> you gain. Uh, so the sneakers are kind of, you know, the guy who hides behind the desk. Yeah, you can take the hide or disengage action as a bonus action. Yeah. On, on, on your turn. It's like, oh my fucking god, that's, that's you know. That's yeah. yeah. You, 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 you learn how to dodge bullets like you dodge responsibility. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> Now. But the next one is actually my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> you can be a regular Joe. Oh, a, yeah. A guy. You can be average. A woman bustles past on her way to work. The wet market w- worker sets up his stall for the day, laying out tank grown synth fish. A grizzle detective sit eating noodles at 2 a.m. <laughs> Basically. Just regular stuff. It's yeah. a variant human. Oh, right. Also, like, there's no food here. What? It's synth fish. So what if it's synth? All of the food is synthetic. So it's, it's so pretty food. Good. So, so yeah, yeah, you guys with your GMOs, not happening. Well, technically speaking, GMOs happened so much that there was no no left. No. <laughs> no, there was no G left. Yeah. I mean. So the, hey, they all, won too. All of those with plant grown and natural and everything, not happening. But so uh, Texas lost something finally. <laughs> I bet. Okay. What's cool with it though? He, the, the the regular Joe is like the most the more uh, Swiss Army knife like style. Swiss Army life like style. He's the very human, really. Yeah. He's the very your, human. Your your charisma or people skill is increased by two. So and, fucking funny! I love it. And uh, you have plus two on other ability scores of your choices increased by one. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they, they do live, live the longest. Yeah, they they live as long as the corporate. No, kid. no, Actually, they said they live the longest and healthiest lives. Yeah, yeah. right. They go up until one hundred and ten. As the corpo. You but mean, corpos yeah. have uh, their middle age uh, faster. Yeah, these yeah. guys have the middle age when it's proper. You know, forty five. Yep. You so may. that you can buy your bike when you're fucking fifty. Of course. Still, uh, you got proficiencies in two skills of your choice. You got proficiency in a tool, in, in a tool of, of your choice. But weirdly really uh, enough, you can speak less languages yeah, than the edgy guys. Yeah, you, you can speak only two lang- languages. Like English yep. and one other. 
out of the list. And by the picture, you are usually Chinese. <laughs> no, you're just okay. You're just average. You're okay. Now, the now, next one, I guess, it's what uh, you've played. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This so, is uh, uh, the, the least okay one. Uh, actually, well, it's not the least okay if you count for the up uh, 18 years up until you start. Working. Suck my lifespan. <laughs> and suck my flash. <laughs> go ahead. Go All right, ahead. synthetics. <laughs> yeah, you are robot. No, oh, you're not actually robot. Yes, you are manufactured by one of the largest robotic corporation using a combination of biological and robotic components. Biological. And robotic. That's not a robot, that's if, a cyborg. If you have... No, a cyborg is something which... With robot. Which used to be human. Yep. You're an android, though. Though they... Then they, they added... Still not a robot. They added <laughs> advanced AI instead of a robotic brain. You are physically in, indistinguishable from a real human aside from the identical barcodes under each eyelid. Yep. And you know, lines across your face. No. No, actually, sometimes. those are those are from uh, augmentations. Yep. Yeah, well, sometimes. So, so you, you're kind of blended. Since what... Uh, actually, I think uh, the flavor-wise... Really depends on uh, what what, you'll uh, what manufacturer be. yeah made you yeah what uh, manufacturer made you come on as a manufacturer since were first created off world in twenty one thirty yep yep and those creating the first bench are very rare and they are the oldest known to humanity fifty five years old yep which is the maximum age of a synth because they are the oldest mm, yep hello fellow human hello handy thank you anytime. <laughs> so yeah, but since don't don't really have a long lifespan. Well, actually, we don't know. As, yeah, we don't as of know. now, we no. we don't. The oldest one is fifty five. Currently, yeah, because so, it's fifty five. Yeah, so we don't know their upper limits. Well, we actually there's the table that actually says the. Well, the there is the table, but I mean in the game's lore and context. Yeah. The oldest are currently 55. I mean, uh, yeah, then again, the, those are the rare, unique models. No, yeah. those are the first models. No, no, the that's, that's the, the No, no, yeah. that, that's they the don't have the best tech, they have the worst tech. Well, technically speaking, I, I see them as the older models built experimentally, as in made to last. And then I see what... Uh, you know how, like, this the concept... Yeah, you, you know how concept like, cars usually are, like, more expensive and with more cool stuff than the your market variety? Yeah, but I see them as they may live to up to 55, but if they're pretty good, they won't just die. I mean, that's the thing. That's what I was getting to. So, since I see, I see them like the tryout models of a car, so built with really cool tech and everything, and the rest of the synths... Oh, I on. see them as factory commissioned. Yeah, but the this is our personal though. favor, though, yeah. and I really yeah. want to wait for more books so that. But I mean, the I want to see it as a pending mystery yeah. because they were. And created. my fresh uh, synth hand agrees with me. Because <laughs> they were created fi fifty-five years ago, so they cannot be older than fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stat-wise. Stat-wise. Well, uh, but I really so don't want to keep the mystery. I really, I, I really don't see a synth does just dying. It's just an alien. Uh, I, you know, I, I, actually, plastic lasts. Yeah. I'd see it more as the deterioration of their biological components. Well, you can just replace those. Yep, yep. I mean, that's what any smart synth would do. Uh, yeah, because your brain is AI. It's not even biological. Yep. Anyways. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So... Even though the synth may age to 55 or more, mm -hmm. they'll always still look 35 years old. Or whatever adult age they're built as looking. Uh, Generally, yeah, it's about 30. They tend to look around 35. Mm -hmm. So that's about where your aging, but physical I mean, aging you, stops. You, you, you can, I think. Well, it doesn't stop. It starts and it is there. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you start at zero. No, but I mean, physically, you'll always look like a... Like a 35. The age you're built to look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so usually 35. Mm -hmm. uh, you will, because you are bio enhanced, so you uh, have advantage to checks for diseases. Mm -hmm. You uh, recharge. <coughs> which, so you're an elf. Yeah, you yep. literally have uh, the elf thing. Eh? The yep. elf thing. Uh, the cool part is that your skin is made out of a composite of metals and plastics. Mm hmm. 
which gives you uh, natural armor. Composite plus... weaving. Oh. <laughs> I set an alloy of metals and plastics. It's called the composite weaving, not your natural armor. Nothing is natural about you. <laughs> yeah, nothing is natural about this. <laughs> Go ahead. Which is 13 plus your dexterity modifier. You're a Warforged Elf. <laughs> or a Lizard Folk Elf. See, Elves is always the working word here, so I think they're the problem. Yeah, just kill all the Elves. Elves are evil. Excuse me, have you seen any actual Elves in here? Exactly. They solved it. And uh, you, uh, so as languages, you go like yeah. the average Joe. With yes, I do. English and one another of your choice. Yeah. That's but good. beyond that, you have the manufacturer. Oh yeah, there's you got the uh, three possible manufacturers. Yeah. First, you have uh, Houston Dynamics, uh, which gives you uh, more dexterity, mm -hmm. uh, plus uh, one. It gives you advantageous positioning, which uh, lets you climb thirty feet instead Spider of the synth. usual uh, spider synth. <laughs> instead of spider the usual uh, fractionary. It's yeah, yeah, uh, check based even. Yeah. So you don't yeah. have checks, you just have climbing speed. Yeah, of 30. And you get a memory implant that lets you use uh, rifles for nice. some reason. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, combat Houston, training. Houston basically, Dynamics uh, Mark is, Four is a, as stated in the book, it's personal it's a security. Personal yeah. security. So and Houston Diamond and Na Dynamics is one of the best, um, uh, well, war manufacturing companies in the world. Yeah. In this book. Yes. So yeah. And then there's uh, the Chinese version. Which are sex robots. Go ahead. Shenzhen Solutions yep. Paramore. Oh my god, yes, you are a sex robot. Yep. Fuck me. Exactly. Yeah. Or counter intelligence asset, but we all know where this is going. You have advantage on persuasion to flatter or charm or seduce. Yep. Also, you emit pheromones. You emit pheromones. Your people score is increased by one. Yeah. Yep. And, and then, then there is Vizier Robotics Advanced Synth. Which is just boof. Which is just built for cheap labor in the colonies. And since in the colonies Big robot. everything Big is robot. in space, you don't have a lot of light. Yeah. You have the best dark vision. Yeah, 120 feet. It's fucking yeah. amazing. By the way. And uh, you have uh, increased strength yeah. by one. By the way, before moving forward, Viser, this reminds me of something. One of the singers from uh, the Antwerp. Next the time chicks, you the have the warmer. The chick's a... family name is, right? I so don't, that I don't means know. the Antwerp got rich in space in the future. The warmer is a human <laughs> from the outer parts of... The yeah, space, yeah, okay. okay, so let's talk about <laughs> space people. Let's talk about space. Oh my god, they, they, they're having even long, like, craniums. Of course. They are long. They're long people. Okay. What did you expect? <laughs> I'll just state this once. <laughs> you just had to, didn't you? I know. You? I, 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 oh, oh my god, a poorly lit bar with bricket over window hosts a group of abnormally tall, <laughs> unusually thin people. And, uh, by the way, oh, Oh, we're gonna talk about one of our own things. Yes, a heavily oh, accented, shit. gangly man loudly <laughs> advertises his off-world charms at the <laughs> night market. Yep. So, hello, hum <laughs> fellow humans. <laughs> it works. Uh, I know, it does. It's brilliant. So, wormers are people born in space. Space makes you long. For some reason, but it's, <laughs> it's my guy. <laughs> Your torso, it's like, fuck me. <laughs> your torso is longer than your legs. <laughs> <laughs> can we show this? Oh, we're gonna. Oh, wait, we're, wait, wait, can <laughs> we show this? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> More. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo wee! Yeah. Still, right. Basically, because they're in off-world colonies, and because gravity is a small, very small percentile of what's here, you get long. Um, yeah, 
because of growth hormones and everything. Yeah. There's actually a study, like, it really did theorize that if we change gravities, we'd have severe muscle atrophy. Uh, yeah. if, uh, especially if uh, there was this study made for the Mars colonization missions, and because of Mars's extremely low gravity, one per eighth or sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you'd have to work about four workout heavy workout like epic levels of workout four hours a day just so you don't get a heart disease. You yeah, you but, decide. But <laughs> epic levels. Of okay. No. <laughs> yeah. But epic levels of problems. You decide. Yeah. So basically, um, yeah. Small. They they got they have to get long. Oh my god. What? They live to just 70. Yep. Yeah, just now I saw this. From the longness. Yep. So you're so long, you die fast. Yep. Anyway, so you get a constitution increased by two and dexterity increased by one because you have to be uh, careful in space. Yeah. And tough to survive being long. But you do not survive being long for long. Just 70 years. That's uh, fucking it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Speed. Oh my god, your base movement speed is 40 feet. Yeah. Dude. Well, you are long. You your are long, long limbs boy. aid in your movement. Or so. You double your proficiency bonus when you use sense motive because you understand your fellow people you very might. well. You might they are a book. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love this. You also have dark vision. Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck. What? You have disadvantage on intelligence perception checks and attacks checks whenever you're in direct sunlight. Yeah. Motherfucker. It seems uh, like from He did not apply this. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I don't think he really knew. Okay, so uh, it's mo I, I see this mostly because from what I understood, there is no one uh, okay-ish night day circle exactly so your eyes are really out of frits by design yeah but uh, by this rule i mean if you get synthetic eyes i think you'd be okay with this no uh, maybe right? maybe if even your your body kind of warms up faster right, maybe like it's that. a systemic thing maybe it's a systemic thing i mean uh, as i see it uh they're um who knows it's not, it's not just about the eyes and so uh, I mean, you're trying to perceive something in direct sunlight, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's, it's not stated maybe, out. Yeah, maybe it's, it's not stated. Maybe it's the way you, uh, your mind perceives. Uh, perhaps, perhaps. Maybe it's the the input signals. Anyway, you get this advantage. Everything that is in sunlight is your enemy, and it's better than you. Oh, quite literally, for you, the sun is trying to make you give you issues and probably kill you. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty good. But, 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 it's gonna have a harder time doing that since you're hard as nails. Yeah. You gain an additional hit point per level. It's pretty good, you know, since yeah. there's only 10 levels in this game, HP does not scale that much. So, that helps. Yep. Somewhat. Oh, but the thing that really helps, I think, is, uh, is this uh, Generations of Hardship, which doubles your carrying capacity and pushing, dragging, or lifting capacity. Yep. It's really useful. So even though you're a long boy, yeah, you are a beast of burden. Even though you're some, so, even though though there's this guy that's a normal guy, and he like lifts, uh, lifts, does exercise every day of his life. You as a long boy can just pick him and his exercise you know equipment. Why? You know why? Up. You have a longer torso so you can store more things on them. Your longer palms can pick up more objects. Fuck it, your anus is longer. Uh, Stick more things. Sure. Hello, prison. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know why? Because I wanted to state this. You are uh, from off-world slave labor colonies. That's why I wanted to get into this. You're from prison worlds and slave labor colonies. It's stated right here. If you are born in on Earth. No. If you're a wormer, you're only from... In off-world colonies, wormers are used as slave labor treated no better than synths. Many wormers work for food and board. Born into contracts signed by their ancestors. Now those to you sound like nice worlds. Yes. Those sound like settlers. Man, I 
think it's oof. no. Those, those actually sound like settlers because uh, that's how they, that's how it worked, especially when you. When, well, I know, when, but when the that's guys that's bad by itself. Settle. I mean, I mean, uh, it worked. America became great. Eventually. Eventually, but I mean, uh, they maybe. rolled really well on the dice, to be honest. You know, you know, and no, the Indians no. were very dumb. No, 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 actually, Spain really prepped America for the Americans. A lot of people really prepped America, so I, I will still stand by my words of them being really lucky. I mean, if we put it that way, we'll get into that. We, yeah, we're getting no, 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 it's just dumb luck for everyone across the board. I mean, uh, we, if you want to really go to dumb luck countries, uh, Soviet Russia. Yeah, so not. many things had to align for that to happen. Not anymore. Huh. Yeah, don't kill us. No, you know, like the classes. Thank you. Okay, oh right. Uh, also for languages, <laughs> you get uh, off-world Creole. Which is a special... Uh, which is the language... Space people language, right? Which is the language of the space people. Which is weird. Yep. I don't even know how that sounds. Try imagine a new color. Uh, that means hello. Okay, so can you taste the blue? Yes. Right. Then uh, you've got the aging tables, which tell you, you know, how much you die. How close you are to death. Yeah, pretty much. But there's also a nice, uh, interesting thing. You got a rejuvenation because the future is so advanced. You can, uh, by the cost of 10 million, uh, what a lot. reduce your physical age by 25 years. It's a really complicated operation based on fucking nanas or some shit. And wow. You can do this up to four times before, no. So you can uh, prolong your life for by 100 years. By 100 years. By about 100 years, yeah. I mean... Wasn't there like a uh, caveat even for that? Yeah, four times only. Yep, that's the caveat. It's... That's the caveat. Four times in your life. Yep. More than that, you get catastrophic failure. Well, now it's interesting because it says catastrophic organ failure. But we found synthetic versions of most organs. That's a thinking point. So theoretically, if you just... Swap out your whole gut. Yeah, and slowly become a synth. Yep. I mean, the question lies in... What would happen to a synth that goes through this procedure? No, well, They are biomechanical, as you stated. They're yeah. not a robot, so I think they'd die in about 100 years. No, nah, so they... <laughs> no, I, they'll probably be fine, honestly. No, they are just um, getting new levers and... Um, pistons and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much for them, it's slotting things in and out. I don't know. That's one of the reasons I'm I'm really waiting for the next books because there's a lot of things here that are gray areas. Yeah, well, but they're interesting. So then you've got your languages, of course, with the fluency thingies and uh, whatever. You can speak uh, in this uh, setting. In this setting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Languages. Fifteen accepted global languages. I'm sure yeah. everything else below Russian, which is 1% literacy, is so fringe that people don't really speak it. So, uh, Polish is more popular than, uh... CDPR1. Yeah. Right. Basically. But now, as you said, in Soviet Russia, we come to the classless classes system. So, the classes are as follows. I mean, I don't think we're going to get into that much detail as the backgrounds for each of the classes because we have a nice description panel here for all of them. And there's six classes you can be in this game, which is, you know what? It's pretty, pretty fucking reasonable. Right? Yeah. Because there's no magic here. There's some sort of magic. The magic is inside of you. Yep. The magic is uh, augmentations. Yep. And there's really evocative classes for this, right? Uh, there's the Daimyo, which is heavy weapon guy. He is heavy weapon guy. What do you know? Heavy melee weapon guy. Well, can we get to the classes? What? We are, we are at the Okay, class. well then, you know what? You're right, you're right. So there's the Daimyo, 
And then there's the other cool classes after the break. Thank you. And I'm sorry. It's okay. The <laughs> Patreon! <gasps> For about five seconds, so projectile yeah, vomiting. vomiting. Hello. Vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> so we did have some uh, yeah, some little things. Some yeah, yeah. Hey, Arender. Hey, Shadazar. What up? Hey. Uh, yeah, we had a longer break uh, since uh, since we had some little tech difficulties, but they're solved now. And they had to shit. Okay. A man's gonna do what a man's gonna do. Right. So, uh, how about this? Uh, the classes are six and they're simple, so we're gonna do a faster run through the classes because it's kind of the last thing you need to, to know how to play. Because, uh, really, the equipment speaks for itself, right? Uh, the equipment table is in the book. Kind of explain everything you need to know about how yeah. your shit works, and they're overly detailed and they're great. Yeah, the classes... They even have the pictures. Yeah, they even have mm, pictures. Yes. And they're really cool pictures. Some guns fold. Yeah, well, if, if if it's not twenty first uh, century technology, the it kind of fold. folds. Yeah, it uh, kind of folds. Uh, it's twenty uh, second. Yep, yep. Most of it is twenty second. Twenty second century technology. Right. Anyway, so most of the cool shit folds. It's That's all you need to know about the equipment. Yep. The cool shit folds or explodes or both. So folds and explodes. Da, 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 In quick succession. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So, um, before we uh, give a bit of a run through of what we made in, um, in Carbon and uh, what little we did play, but which we're gonna resume um, uh, starting tomorrow and Saturday, we're gonna have a double dose, right? Yep. So tomorrow um, we're, gonna, we're gonna play a longer one. Yeah, finally. Uh, tomorrow? Well, yeah, we're, tomorrow. Whatever. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't mind. We're free on both days, so whatever. Uh, it was not the internet this time, it was, uh... It was me shitting. And... I um, love you guys. Mm. We are so close um, that I can disclose well, this, for this kind of information. Yeah. Uh, for now, we're not gonna play live on the stream, but we're gonna play it more, um... In our Saturday, and this time Friday, home game, so that we can know the rules more. But we are planning to do at least a one-shot of this, uh, of this setting on the stream sometime. Yeah. It's really fucking cool. Yeah. Basically, we're gonna do one shots when most of our crew is missing, yeah. and we can try something new with whatever people we have left. <laughs> he yeah. does feel closer to us, by the way. I love you. <laughs> Let's find out about your colon. Next week, we're gonna talk about our colons. Can I live stream that? Uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, classes. <laughs> classes. Classes. So, really quickly, right? You've got the Daimyo, which is medium to heavy armor, melee weapons, pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, and heavy the weapons. The cool guy with a minigun that go vroop 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 He is sandwich. He is heavy weapon guy. Sandwich. He is heavy weapons guy. Yep. And he Pretty needs much. his sandwich. And uh, he's got sort of this barbarian rage mechanic going on. Yeah. But which is really interesting. It, it uh, is, it is. I never expected them to actually add... Uh, a rage mechanic because well, like it, how does being angry help you it, deflect it's bullets it's easy no. fuck you it's called fury though so yep, it's it not is rage called it yeah, is called fury, fury. right which is but you know, it, so it works on uh, yeah. strength attacks not on shooting well yeah but uh if you're gonna pay attention it lets you attack with ranged weapons with strength yeah yeah and uh heavy weapons by the way by default work on strength Okay. Well, at least the heavy ones, weapons part I is mean, confirmed. I mean, you do, do have to, like, be able to hold that minigun. Because a minigun is not like... Okay, I gotta believe you. I don't see the, the rhythm, but I gotta believe you. It's fine. We're gonna... You know, uh, one of our players at uh, the home game is... Um, is a uh, heavy weapons guy, so... You know, when he does get to play, we're gonna take his word for it. Next is the Doc. Which is a trained healer who uses uh, injections to heal people. He has uh, healing implants. And it which, has so many injections. Oh yeah, my God. at level one, the doc yep. has about between four and six heals a day, depending on we, his stats we a bit. We played this session and a doc just kept reviving us. Like <laughs> yeah. And right now in our games, we have two docs. Yeah. yeah, so we're basically immortal. Yep, functionally speaking, we exist. Then you've got the Enforcer, which is kind of your classic fighter, but is a Swiss Army map. 
I mean, yeah. you're a sniper, yeah. but you can also be a you know drop shock trooper, which specializes yeah. in short range. Well, he has proficiency in all weapons and armor and helmets and everything. And done. Yeah, like, that's his chick. So he's a basic fighter, but it's really fucking cool. Oh, and ju ju just uh, as uh, as an attendant, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have shields, you have helmets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think we could homebrew some riot shield type thingies. Those are cool. Well, yeah, but I don't see a riot shield like so, holding yeah. the big weapon a fire. No, 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 but I so, mean, yeah, I mean, for example, element. like a, a steadied kinetic shield, which also implants it to the ground and you hold it and it's fucking cool. Yeah. Okay, it's fucking cool. But anyway... Uh, and you have your second wind, your extra truck, yeah, your it's, extra it's surge. It's all of fighter. the fighter staples. It, it's really a fighter. It's a gunfighter. Yep. It's, uh, you know, if Mercer would have been successful with the gunslinger, this would have been it. <laughs> And you yeah. can be a marine who loves this weapon, you can re deploy rapidly, or you can be a street samurai with, with the, the, this class. You can be a fuck yeah. Yeah. You can be a Keanu Reeves. No, uh, Keanu is actually in the games, uh, in this game's turns, a hacker. In the, in the CP. Yeah, the hacker, Johnny. Do, do yes, he is. So yes. Johnny Silverhand does have the entertainer background, oh, but he okay. was always a hacker. Okay. Yeah. Johnny Silverhand well, died uploading his mind into the mainframe. Yeah, that I know. So, the next class the chase is, is a girlfriend. hacker. That, the next class <laughs> is the hacker, which is functionally, you know, the bastard child of a bard, a sorcerer, and a wizard. I mean, yeah. he's the cyberpunk you, 2077. You, have, like, you, you <laughs> have the the magic missiles, but with fuck tons of damage. No, no, they have magic missile damage. It's 1d4? One, one 3d4 plus 3. Huh. Like a magic missile. Sure, they get a greater level 5. Uh, you also have the tracking module, right? You have exploits which function yeah, you have like uh, like spells. Why and you no, have spells you, you have self-healing. Well, that's a feature, right? Because you need to survive. And you're a bit branched off from the rest of the team in tight situations when you hack. Yeah, it's, because uh, hacking doesn't actually, from what I understood in this book, uh, you when you begin really hacking, like not combat hacking, uh, what? You begin hacking mainframes and everything. You don't have a lot By of. By the way, I never found that. I never found that. I never found anything that but impedes your I, vision when you're hacking. Well, but yeah, but you can you look. can either be a combat hacker or you can be a robo man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have like two or three drones at max, yep. or you can just wade into fucking shotgun fire. Now uh, and uh, about the hacking, yeah. I mean when you use your hacking kit. Yeah, I know, and the hacking kit doesn't say. Yeah, but then again, it's n like it's not about impaired vision. More like you have to stay in one place. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Uh, that uh, not even that, by the way. Uh, only that you're connected with the hacking kit to the thing you're hacking. Yes, that. Well, true. that's the thing. You have to stay connected yeah. to the mainframe. That, now, yeah. if you manage well, to get, make that portable depending, somehow. Depending, mm -hmm. that's wireless or wi or wire based. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, the the basic kit is uh, wire based. But your abilities later on as a hacker allow you to go wireless. Yeah. So it's kind of a risk reward, but it's really cool. Then you've got the cool, the noir, mm. the basic scene from Fallout 4, the in private investigator. Harrison Ford as a class. Yes. <laughs> yes. You've got the investigator, which is literally a detective. Yep. That's it. Well, he can spec into being a better detective or an he, investigation journalist. Yeah, which is really like. It's really interesting to have a class which is com almost completely non-combat based, right? Yeah, I he mean, has a lot of auxiliary well, abilities. I guess it's kind of the bard. Mm, yeah, more than that, even, uh, I mean, even, uh, it's way more social than the bard, but it's not as powerful. Way more as social than the bard. Uh, than the default bard, yeah, he has some features that really help you out in yeah. uh, in mean, investigations. I mean, go go for it like this at level ten, for example, like with which is the maximum cap, though. Yeah, uh, you gain. Uh, Two botnets. Well, yeah, but that's not a lot. To be well, fair. You gain master computer interface exploits from the hacker class. I know, but still. There's right. two of them, of course. Or, yeah. you, or you can hide in shadows. Yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I mean... But, I mean, really the most direct child of a D&D class is the last class for today. The, the scoundrel. scoundrel. The scoundrel. So, basically, this one fits better for with the punk kids, so... No, 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 this fits with the edgy kids. Well, yeah, the In punk general. ones. No, whatever flavor of edgy you are. Okay. You know, you're knife edgy. I mean, not, Come on, not robotic not. limbs, uh, cyber tattoos, bright colored hair. It's I mean, even, even its secondary classes are like on the 
nice little razor edge because you can either be a troublemaker or a stunt man. Now, you know what I fucking love? That level 10 feet which allows you to negate most fall damage completely. Uh, what up, was it? Up to I... orbital jump. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that orbital one? jump. You, what distance you, was that? What one, fucking distance? No, was that? it was not a distance. It it was a damage. You, oh, you 100, can, right? You can, you, can, you can negate 100 points of falling damage, which is which um, is literally. <laughs> well, it's a troublemaker, a stuntman, or a smuggler. Yeah, uh, he has. Uh, some have uh, three subsets and yeah. some have two subsets. So that's uh that's a bit of a, uh, an interesting um I mean the stunt knife man has life. the orbital jump. Yeah. The stunt man's the best man. <laughs> anyway, so these are like a really short description of the classes, right? Yeah. You've got some D and D parallels a lot, you have some unholy children of uh, two or three classes. We but did. mostly they really fit into the setting, they're really cool, and they're really lively to play, right? Nothing's boring. Yeah, you yeah. you could kind of feel the differences between any of them. You can yeah, customize do, them as, as you want, uh, but depends on your background. Who I guess is the next thing we'll talk about next time. Mm, yeah, maybe I think we should split this one into a two-parter. It's it, it's a lot of information. It's a lot of backgrounds. Yeah. And since since we and haven't talked this much we about just brushed off the classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean there's the classes, then there's like backgrounds, jobs. Besides besides, I really want to talk about this one in detail because we haven't played this much and I want to talk a lot about our adventures, which are not so impressive as of now, right? We barely met up, uh, we barely talked a bit and got a mission. And that's not a lot. But we can talk about our characters a bit. A bit. Well, but the rest of the table. 40 year old chubby belly. You wanna take this? Yeah. First. Yeah, I wanna take this. So, most people see, you know, hackers and gutter punks and, uh, and, and things which are really tied into the, the low punk aspect of, uh, of cyberpunk settings as the edgy kids. And I really wanted to make, um, really wanted to make well, I, I, something completely opposed while incorporating both concepts. So, uh, my, my, my name's Micah, I'm a 40 year old bartender who used to be a punk, but I mellowed out, no one knows I'm a hacker, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with the shotgun, and even though I've got a pot belly going on, I run pretty fast. <laughs> She's like, 35 mm. feet. Yep, yep, yep. Only our long boy runs faster. <laughs> yep. Right. And then... There is my only childhood friend, which I don't know yet as my childhood friend. Is my long lost childhood friend, which I don't know as my friend. Well, we we <laughs> met once during the a time street fight. during a street fight during the time when I was working in the orphanage. Yeah, I I am a, a corporal kid, so uh, he's like my only interaction to the outside world in that thing. Well, uh, more than uh, it's not kind of like your only interaction. Yeah, but more but like it's lively. The, it's, it's the only. Oh look, there are other people I can talk with that I do not completely despise because of my yeah. s totally not programming by the, like. Yeah, the I'm not brainwashed. I'm just very hateful. Uh. You're very hateful <laughs> to opposing corporations. To uh, is he though? Yeah. I don't think you described that in your backstory. I don't think you did. Well, he didn't have to. Yeah, no, it's stated in the book. Yes. It is stated. If you are, uh, if you if are uh, up, up brought by a corporation, you kind of have a distaste for the others. I mean, it's well, not, it's, it's not complete hatred. Yeah, no, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, you know how? Spite. No, Spite. not even that. Like it's preferring McDonald's over KFC. Yes, it's kind of like fanboyism. Oh, oh. Kind of oh. like pure fanboyism. That's Apple is better of... than Android. Yeah. Period. Yeah. No matter That's, what you say. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, I I went into the enforcer class. Yeah. Because that uh, fucking snipers, man. That, yeah, I really want <laughs> to play as for an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, see, you you so get I, it perfectly. I, what? I, we I, get along. Yeah, I I really wanted to play a sniper. For we tried playing Cyberpunk for about three or four times. No, it was more than that. We tried but converting D and D at first. Then yeah. we found the Shadow Run. Yeah, we did have some experiments for a couple of months yeah, uh, at the beginning now of the year. Yeah, we found this one, and yeah. I really, I really let let's try to play the sniper <laughs> again, <laughs> yeah. this time properly. So, Corporal Kid Enforcer, with twenty five years serving the military, I'm a, a forty year old, just 
trying to reintegrate into, we're, we're into really society. We're really midlife crisis is ba- yeah, yeah, waiting we, to we, happen. We, we too really have the, the midlife crisis. Is I there. mean, really, my goal right now in character is to buy a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> That's it. My goal right now is to find some money and buy myself a pair of underwear because, because I, I, I spent all my money on guns and armor. So I don't have clothing. He forgot the most important part. <laughs> so Pants. I like my cave, my Kevlar up on my skin, and I need some fucking underwear. <laughs> and pants. We do have this running theory that the advanced armor of the 22nd century does have, you know, tactical gel. Like, I, th- I, I think we debunked that theory when I asked how uh, how expensive is Greece, and it's about 5k. So. I don't mean Greece. I mean you know just impact gel. Ah, uh, impact gel. Still sweaty balls. <laughs> ah. and I love the, it. the itch <laughs> yeah. he sometimes rolls randomly for the itch <laughs> anyway, and I think it falls to you to describe the other three remaining fucking morons yeah <laughs> we are the special kids I mean, yeah. we are the special bunch so uh, we have a uh, doctor that has worked in a clinic oh she worked in a clinic yes she worked oh, in a shit. clinic she's a legit she, doctor for 25 years fuck me Oh, and her dream, her ambition, her entire goal is to get off this rock. And she will. She literally. So, uh, the, this doctor literally just cheap, just went for the yeah, cheapest. She went for the rats things. too, right? Yeah. Oh my God. She she went for the cheapest possible clothing, cheapest possible place to live, cheap, cheap, cheap. She cheapened out on everything, yeah, the, even the, her the, weapon. I, the characters, by the way, money. by the way, Chad, the characters are 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 kind of old uh, by accident because uh, most of us did not fail at our job roles, right? Because if if you fail the difficulty, you get kicked out of the job and you immediately begin your cyberpunk career. So you kind of generate your age when you work. Yeah, right. But so that was for the chat. The, the, yeah, that's why we are forty year old. Yeah, that's we, why we're, we're all 40. pretty good. And he said, "Let's stop at 40 Yeah, yeah. So we decided to stop at forty. Yeah, because we had enough money to get started, uh, but but you know enough life to live. <laughs> but we do have the other doctor. Oh yeah, who so, really fucks it up. So and there the was wormer. this one guy and our wormer. Yeah, They're younger. Uh, I'll put the wormer at last because yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's fucking special. If, if, if we're gonna talk about doctors, we're gonna mm. talk about a more special doctor. Exactly. So exactly. Uh, as a vice in uh, the game, there is a special vice called <laughs> I didn't ask for this. He selected it off the top of his head just because he wanted to. He <laughs> went... oh come on, he's the best vice. Yeah, it but is. here's I the funny part. For this. Here's the <laughs> funny part. So he rolled his stats, everything was good, his stats are pretty high, <laughs> uh, everything's nice and comfy. <laughs> but suddenly, he uh, never asked for that. And, <laughs> no, 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 and here's the part he never asked for. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the job, our friend failed instantly. <laughs> not even one tour. Just straight up, rolled, 2-2, two, two. not enough, completely failed. And he starts and like he starts everything in poor clothing, with a very cheap weapon, and that is him. That is a the knife, combat basically. medic. Knife. Yeah, and he's the combat doctor. <laughs> so he tried the he tried his luck in the military, and unlike there was our no luck uh, left. and uh, uh, he his name is Lucky, <laughs> and unlike our enforcer here, he's not. He done goofed. Yeah. He don't go badly. Uh, I, I I think we we knew each other from, yeah. from the military. Yeah. Yeah. You've known him for like what? One year. Once. Uh, no, actually three years. Three, three years. years. Wha- whatever. Yeah. Still. At this point, whatever. Yeah. So for three years, that's how much he lasted. <coughs> then he got his leg fucked up or, or something, right? Yeah. Then his leg. Then he got shot in the leg. Yeah. Poor guy. There's Poor a guy. joke there we're, that we're not gonna say. Oh, you mean about the uh, prolific uh, ancient weapon known as Arrow in the uh, possible zone? <laughs> well, <laughs> but and yeah. Then we have a space long boy. Oh yeah. With a uh, who wanted to be a heavy weapons guy, and has a katana and a pistol. Yeah. Totally. He's Twenty-nine heavy. and acts twelve. Well, he's like a Jeremy Clarkson of the group. I mean, the, didn't he have more trips in space than just once? 
two. I think Tristan he's accidented on the third. Oh, so sad. So the problem is he's not the cool katana kid. He's the weirdly misshapen. Oh my come on, he's cool in his own way. Yeah, but not as a katana kid. Sorry, nope. No, 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 no. I mean, technically speaking, for him, what is for him a katana? <coughs> For it's everyone. for everyone a katana. No. Because weapons are not described as changing sizes. Not at all. A katana is... Then for him it's like a wakizashi. No, it's not. He's two and something. He's not a fucking giant. Well, I know he describes himself as a giant, but... Why don't we make fun of him as a yeah, giant? I mean, come on, we make fun of him as a giant. And I re if I remember correctly, the katana was actually like... You could one-hand it? It is versatile, yeah. It is versatile. <laughs> what? what? Oh, the weird kid that brings weapons to school and thinks he's super edgy. Well, he does have a long coat. Oh, he God. does have a long coat. He so does oh, have yeah. a long coat. I think that brings everything full circle, right? Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> so, well, when you make fun of the weird kid, he pulls out a well, uh, he do we don't a make assault fun of rifle. Him. We accept him and teach him how to properly not shoot people in the street. We have failed at teaching him anything. I guess that's a start. Yeah, it's a very slow start. We can, we're bad teachers. We're horrible teachers. Well, we just met, to be well, honest. Y I'm sorry, you guys are horrible teachers. Exactly, that's what we said. No, no, I, I, I take this upon the two of us. We're not good at teaching people. Not how to properly not shoot people in the street. Well, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, really, if you do it, you know, uh, daytime on a pedestrian crossing. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, our fighter here, almost, uh, well, uh, our fighter here, sorry, uh, <laughs> difference in uh, position fine. against people. He's the heavy weapon. I... Uh, the, the, no, 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 you, almost, you, you. You, you almost got hit, uh, shot by a, uh, by some bikers who did racing. And, uh, well, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm unable to look le left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and... Uh, He's from the helmet. Yeah, it's yeah, totally from the helmet. It's from the bad jokes. I got, I distracted you guys. Yeah, it's okay. And, uh, well, our long boy just decided in the middle of the street, in the middle of a crossing, in the middle of the day to pull out a gun. You know what I'm fucking surprised though, by the way, about and that. And pointed at people. About that, and, and, and I think that's a great way to end things off because it just points towards the ridiculousness that we're about to encounter. Is that... In almost the poorest district of the city, cops responded instantly to a gun being drawn, but not to illegal racing. What the fuck? Did, anyone, did I say it was illegal? Yeah. The bikes were modded illegally. No, no. They, they were just racing. No. Sure they were. <laughs> no, that, that's the thing. Did... Hmm. hmm. Wait, racing is not illegal? Not if you go don't go over the speed limit. Yep. Hey. That's pretty true. Hey, 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 mm. hey, 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 hey. That's how I race him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was gonna say, right? Uh, and bring this to a nice close because we have the situation in real life. We're so poor. We have to race to get home. In what? the empty streets, we have to race to get home because if not, street line turn off, we die. <laughs> in in Eastern Europe, of we, course you die. You e die from dark. If there's no light, you just die. Yes. Just knives materialize I, I out of nowhere and you just I wanted to see how ludicrous I can get with our next Hey Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you don't want us to, to die, die. Yes, to, to literally die. Oh my fucking god. Yes. Help. Oh, there's seven of them now. Right when we're gonna end. Lois! <laughs> Bliot! <laughs> this used to be my friend. <laughs> but, we but lost our friend. he stood in Yo, the darkness. I... He stood... Look, his hand was in the light. It got white. The rest <laughs> of him fucking gone. Because you disconnected our internet. This shit will not fly. Patreon. Patreon. But, now on a more Patreon. serious note, yeah. we're gonna end things off right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you can follow these episodes on uh, YouTube when we upload them. Tonight. And of course, yep, tonight or early tomorrow. Early tomorrow. Depending yeah. on our, you know, Tzavo <laughs> Danit. <laughs> He's talking about our internet connection. And his dick. Oh, <laughs> Anyway. Um, but uh, additional to all of these, of course, you can follow us uh, below on our Facebook, our Instagram, our Twitter. Twitter. Well, as we stated many times, we don't really use Twitter in the Eastern of the Europe's. 
In Eastern Europe, Night has corner. Da. Yeah. Da. We use the Facebook main um, <laughs> our main yeah, our main communication method is our Facebook, Facebook and and some of you nice people have already communicated with us on Facebook and helped us out. Thank you. So uh, right, we'll see you all back on Monday when we're gonna talk about what we did and what the fuck happened in Crash Pandas. Yeah, yeah. It was a marvel to to DM it. I just loved it. Right. <laughs> so uh, see you guys Monday and have a great night. Bye. Bye. Bye.